YouTube, what it do, what it do. This is my spoiler Captain Marvel review. I had to do it. It's been on my mind all night and this morning. Gotta drop the juice. Captain Marvel is probably the worst. Yes, the worst MCU movie they ever made. I'm dead serious. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 last night, but I had to actually think about it more. I give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. It gets a D. The movie is a D. Yes, it is. It's a D. Like I said, I still think Act 2 is probably the best act to me, my opinion. Act 1 and Act 3 is slow and kind of all over the place. Um, Samuel L. Jackson and um, Brie Larson, their chemistry as Carol Danvers and um, Nick Fury is off. The action sequence is is bull. Like she's not throwing punches correctly. I don't know who was the um the stunt coordinator. They didn't do a they didn't do a great job with that. Ronan the um the story was a waste of a character. Um, when she became OP, she just woohoo woohoo! I got all this power. Like now this is stupid. This is stupid as hell. You know that I said about the plot twist. The scrolls are, are not the villains. They're actually refugees trying to actually look for a home, a new home. Her crew, the Creed team, they're actually the bad guys. When she gets to Earth, there's one good scene when she's on the um, Metro Rail fight in Los Angeles. That's a good scene right there, but there's really nothing after that. I mean, it, it's just all over the place. I don't know what the hell Kevin Foggy or the people at Marvel Studios was thinking about dropping this movie. I had a gut feeling when they first announced Captain Marvel movie in 2014 at the El Capitan Theater in Los Angeles, California, when they did the next five years of the movies um, in Phase Three. I said, I don't just don't trust this movie. It's like I don't I don't know what it is. I mean, I love when women are at the lead of a movie or lead of a movie. Doesn't matter what it is. Don't get me wrong, but it was just rushed, and it was like. I don't know if they're trying to force her to be at the at the head of MCU because a Captain America, Tony Stark, or Michael might be dying in Endgame or whatever's going to happen, retire. We don't know, but no, Black Panther he, he won that by the fans and Marvel Studios know that there that's their cash cow right there, Black Panther. So he's going to be the head, not just Avengers, but just any movie. They're going to put all their energy into that movie. Um, Ant Man and the Wasp was boo-boo, Captain Marvel was doo-doo stain, Infinity War was good, but it could have been better, but you know, Thor Ragnarok was weak to me, I did not like Thor Ragnarok, so um, Marvel's been kind of like taking a, a small decline, and they better hurry up and capitalize off that, because DC sneaking behind them, they're trying to make a lot of corrections, Um, the way Samuel Jackson lost his eye through a cat, goose the cat, that is stupid because in Winter Soldier, he said, last time I trust somebody, I lost the eye. Fool, how you going to trust a cat? That, that was the most dumbest thing. They could have left that out, man. They could have left that out. And so Captain Marvel, she, at the end of the movie, she gave Nick Fury this idea to make this initiative project. So he changed it to the Avengers initiative. I mean, come on. Captain America is the first Avenger. So how was they really trying to force this down our throat? I mean... Brie Ross is a great actor. I'm not going to take nothing away from her. But it's just, it's, I did not like this at all. It was like, my head was hurting. I was looking like, what the hell is going on? But I'm being quiet in the movie theater because I'm like, I don't want to piss nobody off. People laughing at the corny jokes. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Um, ben Hiddleston, he's probably had the best, he was probably the best actor in the movie. He was probably the best actor in the movie to me. Um... The way they had the Tesseract in the movie, that was cool at one point, but it's just like everything was like rushed and broken up. Like it was just the movie was just scattered all over the place like broken glass. And I was like, I don't like this at all. And it was just irritated me in my heart. Like I, I said, I can't believe Marvel really doing this. I can see why they didn't want nobody to give a spoiler review or give their reviews a couple of days prior to the movie coming out. Because a lot of people seen the movie a couple of weeks ago. They're like, no, nah, we're going to... Hold off, hold off, hold off. I mean, Marvel is um, very secretive about, you know, their projects, so I understand that. But this movie right here sucks. 
Thor the Dark World is probably a tie with it because that was weak. Iron Man 3 was weak. I mean, Captain Marvel was the worst. It's the worst solo origin movie or the worst MCU movie. Yes, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. It got nothing to do with, um, oh, I'm attacking her. No, it got nothing to do with that. It's just like, okay, I understand y'all have to, you know, show who she is, but it's just, I don't know. I think the Russo brothers, since they directed Endgame and she will be in Endgame, will make her character better. The Russo brothers make every character better. Look what they did to Black Panther in Civil War and Infinity War. Black Panther was beast mode. His fighting scenes in Civil War was better than the Black Panther movie. And they always know how to take the character's arc to the next level. Thor Ragnarok was garbage. They made Thor the one of the best characters in Infinity War. Especially that scene when he dropped into Wakanda with Groot and um, Rocket the Raccoon. Where is Thanos? That was the hardest scene. The whole movie theater erupted. When I saw that, I was like, hell yeah, that's the Thor I know. So I just don't understand. Like they even made Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange solo movie was good, don't get me wrong. But he was even on a whole different level in, in Infinity War. So I believe, I think the Rooster Brothers will make Captain Marvel better. But I still don't see no Achilles heels with her because it's like, you're this powerful? I know you're not this powerful and we're about to get the end game and you about to just de defeat Thanos all by yourself. That's bull. Because that means we built up 11 years for what? What did we do for 11 years? 11 years? And you're not about to defeat this man with all this power. So she's the most powerful character in the MCU. I know she is, but her comics was always weak. Even though they try to change the characters around in the comics, but it was always weak. It was nothing exciting about this movie. I was forcing myself, okay, 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 I'm gonna give it a 7.5. I thought right then and there, thought about it this morning. I said, hell no, this is a 6.5, a straight D. A straight D. Yes, I give it a D, and I don't care what nobody say, man. A D. You know, I'm not gonna lie to people that's gonna stop by my channel or my subs that's gonna see it and you wanna watch a spoiler review. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. If you see this movie, I'm not gonna say don't see this movie. You will only want to see it one time. I promise you that. You're going to be like, I don't want to see this shit. I feel like it was like a it was like a, a nasty appetizer they gave us before the full course meal. And the full course meal is at, um, Avengers Infinity, I mean, excuse me, Avengers Endgame. That's what I believe in my heart. Like I said, it's always something, you know, Marvel, you better get your stuff together because Endgame is coming less than seven weeks. You better stop playing. Because people are looking at you, all eyes on you like Tupac. So what you gonna do? Um, she will not, Captain Marvel will not be the lead. I don't care what they try to do. She's not gonna be the lead of the MCU moving forward after Endgame. It's gonna be Black Panther. I don't care what nobody say. She will probably still be a great character. They need to change director. They need to do a better stunt coordinator. If they want, if they want to do Captain Marvel too, which I know they will, because Brie Larson sounded like, like a seven, a seven movie contract, something like that. They better get the Rooster Brothers to do her movie. Get the Rooster Brothers to do her movie. That's, that's just my personal opinion. Or get the director that did Doctor Strange. He did a great job with Doctor Strange. So that's how I look at it. I mean, I don't know, man. I had to tell you that. Like I said, you saw the spoiler free review. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. This is my spoiler review. And I had to tell you the truth. A 6.5 out of 10. So that's a D. You didn't do no studying. You didn't do nothing. They, didn't, they just let this shit be. They just walked in. And no, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. The cinematography is garbage. The lighting is garbage. It's dark in certain um scenes. It's like did they even turn lights on? The CGI is trash. Like, I mean, I got I thought the CGI in some parts is cool, but overall, it's trash. Some parts is decent, but it's some part majority of the parts is trash. So, no. All I can say is, Marvel, you have a lot of thinking to do moving forward with Captain Marvel. I'm not saying get rid of her. No, keep her around because I know you can you can use her as a as a great character in phase four or whatever it's gonna be called moving forward. But as far as Captain Marvel, this story is boo-boo. It's boo-boo. Like dog boo-boo. And you need the damn dog baggies to pick it up and throw it away because it ain't worth it. Post your comments below. Hoax Smash Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Please check out my playlist. 
Let me know after you see Captain Marvel movie. What do you think? Put all your um, comments in the comment section. You want to add me on social media. All my information is in the description box. Until next time, peace, everybody. Peace.